Happy summer solstice. So it's the longest day of the year and I thought it would be a really good day to do my first mountain bivy camp. So that's what I've come up here for this evening and it's a beautiful evening as well. It's been really, really warm all day and it properly feels like summer now. This is my camping spot that I'll be staying in my bivy tonight and I will show you what I've got with me in my bag. Oh, I have got my mug, Coke, and the reason I've got Coke is because I've got a little bit of rum in there, and then my stove, and I finally bought a clip-on wind, what are they called? Oh my gosh, windshield. I was say windbreak, but it's a windshield. So I've got my stove and my windshield. My drone is in there, which I might take up a little bit later. I've got my little bag of bits and bobs. My meal ready to eat. This is my bivy, so it's the Outdoor Research Helium Bivy. And this will be the first night that I'll be using it, so I'm excited to give it a go. This is my sleeping mat. I've got my coat in the front pocket there. And then in here, I have my sleeping bag. and my pillow. So that's pretty much everything that I've got with me for the night. Um, I do have some bits and bobs in here, in this top zip pocket as well. I've got a first aid kit, and this is kind of first aid kit and toiletries in there. I've got a spoon. I've got my bug net to wear over my head if the midges come out later. And I've also got my candle lantern. Although I'm not sure if I'll be able to use it because usually I hang it from my tent. I might be able to perch it on a rock maybe. But I'll sort that out later if I need it.
my bits and bobs are in, I'll just show you. Inside I've got my Thermarest Neowear X-Therm sleeping mat and I've got my Cetus Summit, I think this is AC2 or AC3 um, sleeping bag which I normally use for summer um, so hopefully it's warm enough tonight and then I've just got my pillow which is from Decathlon and it looks quite roomy in there actually very cosy I'm glad that I got one with a hoop because I think I would have felt a bit suffocated without I don't know if you can see these on camera but the midges are out <laughs> they are everywhere so I might actually get in to the bivvy just for some respite from these midges because they are crazy I've got my net so when I start cooking I'll put my net on but at the moment the wind has dropped so I'm gonna get in Midges have gone a little bit but there's still some flying around. I think this might be my new favourite way of camping on a mountain. This is perfect for me because I'm still outside enjoying um, the outdoors and feeling connected to nature but I am cosy and warm in here and I know I've only been in it about, <laughs> about 15 minutes but it's cosy. On the menu tonight, I have got tuna pasta bake in a meal ready to eat, so we'll see how it goes. All of these that I have bought recently have been really tasty, so I'm hoping this will be just as good. So we're gonna get that on the go. this water from the lake and I'm not going to bother to filter it for what I'm using it for because it's only to heat the meal up inside the pot so I don't need it to be filtered or clean just need it to boil we had one time where we um, walked all the way up a mountain right to the top and we were going to do a lovely camp and we set the tent up, got everything ready, all of the sleeping bags in the tent, everything out, ready to cook our food and guess who forgot the lighter? It was me and I didn't ever live that down so I always bring a backup lighter. I'm pleasantly surprised at how warm it still is. I honestly thought that as soon as the sun went behind the mountain that it was going to be absolutely freezing but it's still quite warm which is good for me. just wanted to take the opportunity as well to thank all the subscribers who have supported me over the past year. It's actually been over a year now since I started this channel and I'm amazed by how it's grown to be honest. I'm able to connect and speak to people that I would never 
have been able to before this and recently as well it's expanded internationally so I've got quite a few quite a few subscribers from all different parts of the world so thank you for watching and hello um, in my last video I did put the captions closed captions on in English and then also translated it to several different languages um, so hopefully they turned out okay and you can understand the captions it's auto translated so I'm not sure how close it is to what I'm actually saying but I thought it was best to at least try let me know if it if it sounds totally ridiculous it doesn't make any sense so if you're wondering what rum I'm drinking it's a Welsh rum and it's called which is something I'll put the name of it on the screen so you can all see it but it is a local Welsh rum and it's very very good I don't drink it often but I like it for camps because it does give you that warm feeling I was gonna bring a beer with me tonight but I thought may as well have a rum and coke I don't know what is going on this evening but I don't know if you can see this but the midges are back <laughs> I honestly thought they were gone for the night <sighs> I do have my net so I could put that on but I want to eat my food without a net over my face it does look very very nice and I can feel the midges biting me <laughs> morning it is quarter past five and I set my alarm this morning to wake up for sunrise and it was a beautiful one I felt warm all night and stayed dry even though I've got a lot of dew on the outside of my bivy it's nice and warm and dry inside I've just made myself a cup of tea and I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy the sunrise. Mm -hmm. 